I do not believe cavities are a fluoride deficiency. If you look at the work of Weston Price and the diets of indigenous people, I think it's very clear that humans can avoid cavities by eating an animal-based diet. I did a podcast a couple of years ago with a biologic dentist and we talked about the odontoblasts, the immune cells in the teeth that are involved in breaking down or fighting against the enamel damage that is being caused by bacteria when you have an acidic environment in the saliva and teeth after you eat sugar. Most of the mainstream media would believe that sugar causes tooth decay. And I think that is true if you are fat soluble vitamin deficient and if your immune cells in your teeth, yes, your teeth are living, yes, your teeth contain immune cells called odontoblasts. If those immune cells are not adequately nourished with fat soluble vitamins, what am I talking about here? Vitamin D from the sun, vitamin E, vitamin A, and vitamin K2 from animal fat, egg yolks, liver, grass-fed animal fat will provide all of those things, then you may develop cavities from eating sugar. When I was a vegan, I was eating fruit every day. And I went to the dentist and they told me I had seven cavities. I didn't fill them at the time. I said, uh, I don't want to get those filled. I didn't know that I was going to not be a vegan in a few months, but guess what? <laughs> I have zero cavities now. So clearly changing my diet was a major thing for me. And those cavities did not progress. And I eat a massive amount of fruit right now. If you've seen any of my stories, I do not fear fruit, I do not fear fructose. I've talked about that on previous podcasts at length. So I do not believe that fruit is the only variable in the formation of tooth cavities. I believe that is a connection or a contextual variable with the fat soluble vitamin deficiency. And we see that hypothesis corroborated in studies of hunter gatherer tribes and indigenous people who are eating lots of fat soluble vitamins. Vitamin K2 was Weston Price's X factor, this fat soluble nutrient found in butter egg yolks, liver, raw milk, et cetera. That I think is the key to a healthy mouth. Now, when I was growing up, did I have a lot of that? Nope. It wasn't because my mom and dad wanted to deprive me of it. They just didn't understand the value of those foods in a child's life. I understand the value of those foods in a child's life. And if I ever have kids, you can better believe my kids will basically be swimming in egg yolks, liver, meat, meat fat, and um, probably some butter. And hopefully they'll be pretty happy and healthy kids. And I won't fear giving them honey from local raw sources or fruit. And I do not believe they will get cavities. That's an experiment to be done in the future. I will keep you guys posted, but I think that it is an experiment that has already been borne out multiple times in human populations. And we have seen the results clearly. Uh, it's certainly an experiment that I'm doing right now on myself and I don't have cavities. And I eat a lot of fat soluble nutrients and I eat a lot of quote unquote sugar in fruit and honey, not processed sugar though, however. So this is all to say that I do not believe cavities are a fluoride deficiency there is a pretty clear body of literature to suggest that putting fluoride in the water does decrease at rates of tooth decay and rates of dental cavities. Fluoride can form hydroxyapatite, uh, just like calcium can form a hydroxyapatite in the tooth enamel, and that is resistant to cavities. Now, I don't believe that we need to be doing that with fluoridated water if our children are well nourished, in areas of the country where the children are not well nourished, is it a positive health intervention for public health? I'll let you decide what you want to do for yourself and your children. Um, I don't think I would do it for my family because I would feed them the fat soluble nutrient rich foods and therefore would avoid uh, the need for fluoride in the water. I think fluoride is a band aid in the water. 